Hey there, happy Wednesday. It's your midweek refreshment. My name is Shawanda Williams. I'm the host of Refreshing the Soul podcast. And I serve women who have experienced infidelity or childhood traumas that have left them scarred and traumatized, but they are seeking healing. They're seeking wholeness. They're no longer blaming um, their past and no longer blaming the person, but they are ready to do the soul work. They are ready to move forward. So for today's um, midweek refreshment, um, it's called Worship is the Answer. Worship is the Answer. I was just spending some time with God and asking him um, for wisdom on something, a problem or something I was um, just, I needed God's help. I needed his, how I should respond and how I should um, just handle the situation. And I didn't hear anything from God, but in that moment, I went and started reading um, a scripture. And as I read the scripture, it was like God was opening my eyes as if this is the answer. That scripture is Psalms 100, one through two. And I'm gonna read the good news translation. It says, sing to the Lord, all the world. Come, I'm sorry, worship the Lord with joy come before him with happy sing, with happy songs and in the um, new King James version it says come before his presence with singing and I know this is a scripture that we it's probably it's probably very familiar to some but when I read this scripture I read it with a different lens because my heart was open I really wanted to hear from God on how to respond in this situation but the first couple of words sing to the Lord it was like, that's your answer. This is how you respond. You respond in worship. You respond with singing, Shawanda. And as I begin to just sing, I begin to um, sing the song called The Goodness of God, um, C.C. Wine's version, which I love. I was just singing on how good God is and how great he is and how wonderful he is and how he's my been my protector and he's such a good father. As I began to sing to him, it was like, I almost honestly I don't even know what the problem was I'm still trying to even remember what I even went to God about but my whole perspective it was just elevated the thing that was bothering me or that I felt like I needed to handle it was just so minute in that moment because I had elevated to a place of where um, in Colossians um, I believe it's three and two it says um, set your affection set your mind on things above because that's where Christ is that's where he's see seated it was like I elevated to the level of how Christ was seeing the situation and I, I just want to encourage you when you worship God, not just when things are good or when you're feeling good, but when you worship God, when you're, you feel misunderstood, when you feel confused, when you don't know what to do, when you worship him, one, it shifts your perspective. It elevates the way you are seeing a thing. Now you can see a thing from um, seated high with God. Two, it shifts your focus. Your focus is not so much on the problem, but now your focus is on God and who he is. And when it sh when our perspective and our focus is shift, our alignment is shift. It shifts our alignment and aligns our whole posture toward a, so uh, toward a situation. And that was the answer. That was what God was trying to get me to understand that the answer, Shawanda, is, is worshiping so you can get in a posture, in the right posture to respond to the situation um i don't even know what it was but sometimes in worship god will give you a direct answer while you're worshiping and and singing and thinking on him um and sometimes you will realize this is not even something i need to even be bothered with i don't need to worry um i'm just going to give this to god because he has it in control and sometimes the answer may just be sing to god this is what i was created to do this is who i am and i'm just going to trust god in it and he aligns your posture it aligns your posture to how you are showing up um, in the world it aligns your posture to how you're showing up for that situation or that problem or whatever it is so I just want to encourage you if you're seeking God for an answer worship him put on some worship music uh, I don't care if it's in your car wherever and just begin to worship him you were created to worship him that is what you are meant to do all right Love you guys. Pray you are blessed by this word. Bye. Mwah.